And we're back with another episode of the Madden 24 Pittsburgh Steelers franchise. I've been playing a lot of NHL and I botched that introduction more times than I'm willing to admit. Two and two to kick off the 2024 season, coming off an impressive win with a great defensive performance against the New England Patriots. We have four players just left. We're going to hope we can beat the Baltimore Ravens in the sim. It's a heavy rain game. So we'll see if we can get the job done. Pickett's been playing very well to kick off this year. Plan is run the damn ball because it's pissing rain. And one, throwing a wet ball is hard anyway. Two, if you have small hands and wear gloves, it's almost impossible. So let's hope we can figure this out. We did not figure it out and we lost 21 to 13. Our offense has been absolutely atrocious in the sim. Absolutely atrocious. I don't want to chalk it up to the crappy conditions because everyone had to deal with it. Oh, and our linemen are not doing great. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh huh. Rowery game. That's going to be for the Ravens as we drop to two and three. We lost by one score. It's unfortunate. And everyone is just not feeling great about the performance. With that in mind, we are two and three. We have some upgrades to do. George Pickens, Kenny Pickett, Jeffers, and Parker. Pickett goes up to an 82, 87 with morale. And accuracy is improving. The throw power is getting up there. The accuracies are really good, actually. Uh, very nice development job with Pickett, despite some less than ideal results at the end of last season. And upgrade to Jeffers. Really looking for him to take over. At the linebacker spot. Deep threat to Pickens. We're going to throw that in there again. He gets up to an 88 overall. To release some deep route running acceleration and jumping. Very nice to see. Everyone else, you can enjoy an auto upgrade. As we continue on through the season. Week 6 against the Bengals. It is a deadlock for... Second place in the division. Everyone's at two and three. Can we score more than two touchdowns in the sim? That's all I'm asking right now. We can, but we still lose. Nothing's been working in the sim. And that's very frustrating. As we drop to two and four, we have some upgrades to do. Steel gets an upgrade. We're going to pop that into man to man. Goes up to a 77 overall. And close again that dev trait, and we'll auto upgrade the. Oh no, I probably should have put money is into power rusher. It's now week seven. We're two and four. Our team's been playing well. Let's play defense against the Chicago Bears and try to get some momentum, get back on track. As Dalvin Cook is on the Bears. Okay. All right, we'll defend that. And game plan, we'll attack the middle of the field. What can the offense do? Uh, let's try to get an interception. And start the training. And get this underway. We need a turnaround. We need some momentum. And we're starting the game on defense. The offensive line injuries from the game against the Patriots proving to be very difficult for our offense to handle. Oh, crap. No. Absolutely whiffed that tackle. I'm surprised Cook only got six. Fields handing it off. No, nope, that was a great play fake because I got absolutely baited by a two. Quick pass to Comment over the middle, getting the first down. As we are... I don't know why I'm getting all of these, like... Coverage and tutorial tips, but Fields under... Oh, no, I fully just misstepped. Dalvin Cook gets the first. I don't know why I misstepped that badly. But having a true dominant LB1. Still on the hunt for that. Haven't been able to find that lately. Fields chucking it to Rose? I hate how these rookies have no equipment. I don't understand it. It's very annoying. But Fields lining up under center. Is that a tight end or a receiver? I don't know. But he's lined up as a tight end. Oh, my God. Dalvin Cook just embarrassing us. Just 
absolutely embarrassing us. As Fields in the gun. As we're trying to collapse the... Didn't even turn around, didn't get a hand up, didn't get anything. Darno Mooney. Torches us, embarrasses us. Offense able to answer. And it looks like that may have been a rushing touchdown for Harris. Solid drive there. Let's try to be better on defense as Fields drops back. Checking it down to Comment. Get six. Fields in the gun, getting it to Cook. Gets stopped. There is a flag, I think. Noble and Actives, uh, our entire offensive line. How about that? I think that's pretty notable. Gonna bring a blitz, gonna bring the pinch. And just try to stop a, I ran right by him, actually. So, not great on my part, I ran right by him. Bears, very methodical drive so far. Fields in the gun, dropping back. Firing in the flat to Mooney, gets brought down. Fields in the gun, handing it off to Cook. Gets stopped after two. Fields in the gun. With Cook in the backfield. Blitz! Incomplete, knocked down. Bringing up fourth and three. And the Bears are looking to punt. We got Marlin deep to return it. To close out the first quarter. Punt is up. Marlon's going to catch it at about the eight. And is going to ah, get hit really hard. And brought down the 17. Offense does nothing. Well, our offense uh, didn't get anything done. So we're back on defense. Fields making changes. Handing it off to Cook. Oh my gosh. Shattering ankles. Absolutely just shattering ankles. As Fields making another change. We're trying to swim away. Brought down, but Cook gets the first. Handing it off on the stretch run to Cook. Brought down by Watt and actually loses two. So we're going to keep blitzing because I need to get some pressure here. Fields in the shotgun, multiple tight ends, and Cook in the backfield. No, thank you, Fitz. Brings him down after five. I know this is going to be a pass, but I'm bringing a blitz again anyway, because they keep bringing tight ends. Fields under pressure. Beautiful throw, and now Cole Holcomb's hurt. And that doesn't look great. Oh, no. No, 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 no. So Jeffers is going to be our second linebacker for what appears to be the rest of the game. Under center handoff. What? What are we doing? You had him for like a five-yard loss. What had him for a five-yard loss? Jeffers in the game. As Fields dropping back, getting it to Cook who gets rocked. But holds on, makes it third and short. Foot fracture. So Holcomb's going to be out for not just this game, but a while. Not just this game, but uh, quite a bit of time. Third and two. Fields making a change from the looks of it. What? Swim move. And we're getting torched on the outside. By Donovan Peoples-Jones. Our offense drives down and answers. After a great drive by our offense, it's still a tie game. Let's work to keep him out of the end zone so we get the chance to go up with the halftime possession. No, not the screen. Only gets nine. They call a really quick timeout. As we are going to set up for the second and one as Fields drops back. I miss horribly. And they are running hurry up. Jeffers filling in for the injured Cole Holcomb. 
Hit him really hard. Nope. Gets 10. They call a timeout. Bears have 41 seconds, one timeout left. In the shotgun, Fields dropping back. Oh, I thought that was going to be a bit of a shorter play. Gets it to 25. They are not running hurry up anymore, so they'll be happy to take a field goal. Kick is up. Kick is good, and the Bears have a three-point lead. Our offense has drove down, found the end zone. Fields in empty now. As he drops back, looking to throw. Throws quickly to Kement. Brought down, gets 11. Fields under center. Dropping back, gets sacked on the blitz. Jeffers comes into the game for injury relief. And brings Fields down immediately off the drop back. Couldn't even finish his drop. And he's brought down to the ground. Setting up a second and 13. Underneath to Mooney, brushing off tacklers, gets the first. Not even Mooney, to Rose. Fields dropping back, firing to commit. Excuse me, excuse me. He's a tight end. He's not. He shouldn't outrun us. If he trucks you, I can live with that. But he shouldn't torch you just by outrunning you. Oh no, there is a flag. Oh, what a hit. It's going to be holding. Yep, thank you. Don Feebles Jones is hurt. Fields under center. Dropping back on the run. Gets it to Kement, who stays in bounds and turns up Fields to get some extra yards. Really banking on our defenders, keeping them covered. Crashing down on the quick throw. Sets up third and two. DJ Moore with the reception. Two running backs now. Hey. Interesting look for the Bears. And drop it back. Kendricks forces Jeffers with the pick. Stanley Jeffers, how you doing? Oh, hey, oh, wait, no, that's no lineman. We're good. Stanley Jeffers, pick six, covering the flat. I believe that was Kendricks, blitzed, forced the pressure. Fields tries to get it out quickly. Jeffers picks off. He's covering Cook in the flat, and he takes it to the house. Stanley Jeffers, welcome to the NFL. I don't even know if it's welcome to the NFL, but welcome to the game! And Cook is brought down at the line of scrimmage. He has a sack and a pick six on the day. What now? Okay, well, this is a pass play. Fields dropping back. Going deep! Knocked down! Third and ten coming up. Let me go over the middle. As Fields drops back. Oh, hey now. Let's not let him get that first. Good job. Fourth and two. Check down to Cook. Unsuccessful in converting. Punt coming up for Chicago. As Stanley Jeffers. Having himself an incredible debut game. Marlin. I don't even know if it's a debut game. It might be a debut game, actually. I think I I think it was one of the draft picks. It's been a while since the draft happened. But Harris, two touchdowns on the day. Have yourself a performance. As we drive down, we kick a field goal. And with seven minutes left in the fourth quarter, Jeffers continues his incredible game. As Fields handing it off to Cook. Gets the first. Fields under center. Outside handoff to Cook. Uh, Kendrick's just over pursued. Big hit. Sh just short of the first down. Oh no, Cook's at Cook has his X Factor. Don't like this. This might be an RPO. No, it's just a uh, standard pass play. That's backwards. And he's brought down for a loss. Well, that knocks Cook out of the zone. 
He is very tired. This looks like it's going to be a run play. Oh, it's an option play. We would have had Cook dead to rights if he hit the hole. Fields takes it, gets the first. And Fields dropping back. Firing over the middle to Mooney. Gets the first to the red zone. This looks like it's going to be a run. Fields in the shotgun. Never mind. Drum back. Wheel route. Tackled at the four. Is that Kilgore? Kilgore. Gets brought down at the four. Fields under center again. The heavy package. Play fake. On the run. Going to get brought down at the three. Almost had it. Oh, hey now. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hurry up. Okay. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> Fields missed. Cook wide open. I had to cover the tight end or Cook. Fields had that wide open. And couldn't capitalize. As he's dropping back and he's going to take it himself. Fields runs it in. Option play. They've been beating us with that all day. We kick the field goal, so it is a two possession game and the Bears have no timeouts. So there's a chance they come back, but we just need one stop and we are good to go. As Fields is gonna run 16 yards backwards and get buried by TJ Watt. As he's in the shotgun again, dropping back again. Looking, running, throwing. Oh, come on. Just what is this? And that turns into a first down. Okay, that's a little ridiculous. Fields dropping back. Come on, get sacked or throw it away. 11 seconds, second and 10. Fields drops back. And he's getting sacked and that's gonna end the game. And give us a win. Solid defensive performance led the way. Stanley Jeffers had himself a fantastic day. On the offensive side, Pickett, one touchdown, 186 yards. Real star of the day was Harris, 101 yards and two touchdowns. Our receiving for Armuth led the way with five catches, 47 yards, five for 50 for Johnson. Michael Thomas found the end zone. Pickens got four for 27. Defensively, Mika Fitzpatrick, 10 tackles. TFL for Reader, Jeffers, Watt, and Ash. A sacks across the board for Reader, Jeffers, Watt. And guess what? Reader had a pick six. Or not Reader. Jeffers had a pick six. Strong performance and strong debut for Jeffers. And let's take a look at the injury. Foot fracture out for four months, but we are getting... Say Amalu, Hayward, Wheeler, and Filer back next week. White hair should be back in two weeks from broken ribs. So our offensive line is going to be better and healthier as we climb to three and four, which is not great considering our goal was make the playoffs. But we're working with it. It's week eight. And set our scouting national focus. Oh, Burrow. 11 touchdowns, 2 picks. Nice. Nice. Focus is going to be... We'll do quarterback. Because it's a strong quarterback class. And actually, uh, middle linebacker. I know it's a, weaker, well, well, it's a weaker middle linebacker class. I like what we have at quarterback more. And also, our other linebackers outside of Jeffers are kind of old. So, and on expiring deals, I believe. So, three and three Bengals. We are going to play the moments against the Bengals. Set ourselves up in a good spot prior to the trade deadline. And we'll see what we want to do at the deadline. Doing this is going to give us two play the moments for the rest of the season. Uh, actually, when I say that out loud, I don't love it. Uh, we'll check out the deadline. See if there's anyone we can acquire. That's not what I want to do. To the trade block. Well, we had no such luck on the trade block. No one really wanted to make a deal. I tried to get Harrison Phillips from the Vikings. They wanted nothing to do with an offer of like a mid-round pick and a player. 
So we're gonna sim the Bengals game. And we're holy crap! 49 to 21 victory. Can he pick it with six passing? What the hell happened? Kenny Pickett, six passing touchdowns. We got most of our offensive line back. We have all of our offensive line back now? I think so. Kenny Pickett catapults himself into the top uh, three. Here we go. What a game from Kenny Pickett. Gets himself an award. Now let's go through some player upgrades. Kenny Pickett, have yourself a day. We climbed a four and four. And let's... I'm surprised there wasn't a breakout after that. So, week nine, Cleveland Browns. Let's play the moments against them. Try to really solidify ourselves as second in the division. Baltimore's kind of running away with it. But what a day by Kenny Pickett, and let's work to build on it. We're going to defend the medium pass against Deshaun Watson. Work on blitz counter, sure. Rush for over 200 yards, I don't know about that. But let's... Why is five rushing touchdowns a goal? That's wild. Two plus passing touchdowns, start the training. What a day by Pickett. Six passing touchdowns. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. We've got some upgrades here for Rodriguez and Burke. We're going to give Burke a power upgrade. Center of the future here. Impl impact block and blocking power. And Rodriguez. Has he been playing much? Not much. We'll toss that into zone coverage. We've got a lot of developmental corners. A lot of good, young, developmental corners. Hidden devs. Good athletes. Let's get some momentum against the Browns. Huge win against the Bengals. And that doesn't really happen in this series. Early in the game, third down alert on the Cleveland 25-yard line. We're going to be running right at Miles Garrett. Let's hope that doesn't blow up in our face. Oh, come on, Harris. Fourth and one? Really? Couldn't have just lowered your shoulder there? Give me the chance. We're going for it. I formation. ISO. Right side. Right in the A gap. Mix it. Oh my god. Absolutely crushed. Okay, note to self. We need to change the formation and get an actual like player who can block at fullback. Defense holds them to nothing as we get a first quarter drive opportunity to try to strike first, score first. Quick dropping back. Oh, crap. Throw that away. Miles Garrett is scary. Like, Miles Garrett is really, really scary. As he's lined up on the left side. Always got to keep an eye on where Miles Garrett is. Nice pass to Michael Thomas on the crosser. Oh, he might be gone. I'm surprised they don't have more speed in their secondary. First pass, not first pass of the drive, but first completion of the drive. Michael Thomas takes it all the way. On the crosser, Pickett sets his feet, fires, stands tall in the pocket. Thomas makes the grab on the run, turns up field, and fin oh, hey now. Well, the Browns answer with a quick uh, two-play drive of their own. As Pickett under center. Going to turn, hand it off, run back inside, not where we were supposed to go. Harris had a touchdown in the massive win against the Bengals. Okay, please don't let this turn into Fryermuth blocking Miles Garrett one-on-one. -on -one. Please slide and help him. Thank you. Dropping back, checking it down to Harris on the play fake. Throwing a stiff arm, gets it to the 40. So if we can get these quick hitters to keep connecting, limit the impact Miles Garrett can have on the game. That is the game plan. Firing to space, and Pickens gets it. Good block. Good block from Johnson. Pickens running it in. Takes the slant to the house. As now the offense is clicking. 
We're hitting the passes. We're hitting the slants. Receivers making plays after the catch. And now, game continues. Strong defensive performances all around. We are in the red zone. Under two minutes left in the game. Bringing it down to under a minute. 17 yards to go. Johnson waits. He gets... I don't know how that worked. I don't know how that worked. Johnson really delayed his release. I wanted to get him the ball. Uh, actually, like, where he was standing. Because no one covered him. Threw that into traffic. He made the grab. Spun off our a defender and one of our own receivers. That may... Oh, my... That was really weird. But it worked. And... Defense holding strong, continuing a dominant game. We're going to run away from Miles Garrett. I like that plan a lot better, Harris. Okay, we got to work on this short yardage against Cleveland. Third and three. Brown showing a blitz. We see it. We get it to Johnson. Fighting his way to the end zone. And that's four touchdowns on the day for Kenny Pickett. Following up a six-touchdown performance against the Bengals. Fourth quarter. Cleveland in the gun going for it. Why? Oh, my goodness. Are we that hurt at linebacker? Handing it off to Chubb, who gets buried in the backfield. Fletcher Cox. Fletcher Cox. And now we're just getting all of the moments and opportunities as third and three on Cleveland's 26. Dropping back, firing it to Pickens on the crosser. Getting into the corner. Six touchdowns and five touchdowns for Pickett in consecutive weeks. Another fourth down shot for the Browns. Let's see how this works under center. Watson trying to get us to jump. Can't. Turns, hands it off to Chubb, who is having a great run and gets it to our 34. Wow. Absolute thrashing of the Cleveland Browns. 35 to 14. Pickett. 339 yards, five touchdowns. Harris had 112 on the ground. Pickens had 117, two touchdowns. Johnson, 74 yards, two touchdowns. Fryermuth, four for 35. Michael Thomas, two for 101. And a touchdown. 80-yard touchdown took to the house. Defensively, seven tackles from Highsmith of the team. Two sacks for Highsmith. One for Watt, one for Money, and half a sack between Love and Reader. No turnovers. Solid day. Broderick Jones gets an upgrade. We're going to put that into pass protector. He stays at a 79 overall. But pass block and pass block power went up. Solid performance. Back-to-back -back weeks. Big weeks. For Kenny Pickett. 11 touchdowns in two weeks. Wow. We still don't have a breakout? Pick it back to back, player of the weeks. 339 yards and five touchdowns. That's almost 700 yards and 11 touchdowns in two in two weeks. Huge day for Pickett. As the Lions are struggling, three and six, we're heating up a little bit, gaining some momentum. No fear, this could be a trap game. Avoid falling victim. Can we do it in the sim? I would love to do it in the sim. Two weeks out from our bye week. As Amon Ross St. Brown, six touchdowns, almost four, almost 460 yards on the year. Can we pull it off and not fall to a trap game like we usually do? We win! 35 to 17 weekly awards again. Kenny Pickett. Back-to-back-to-back -back -to -back weekly awards. Six touchdowns, five touchdowns, four touchdowns. All over 300 yards. This guy has 1,000 yards and 15 touchdowns in three weeks. 
ridiculous. Re the cold opponent, we handled our business against the Lions. Three game win streak sparked by Kenny Pickett. And just phenomenal play across the board as prospect spotlights. Who do we have here? Antoine Peterson standing out with his football IQ. Smart guy, cornerback. We have some focus players as well. And let's take a look at the class. Let's get Peterson on the list of players to look at. Where is he? Down here. Oh, zone coverage is rough. We'll add him. Supposed to be smart, might be a good like mid-round grab. And we'll go down the list a little. Let's check out Henry Spillman. And lock it in, confirm. Very defensive focused. Defensively focused with our spotlights. But the offense has been humming lately. Upgrades. Give one to Pickett, please. He like can you get one? No, he can't. And one butt picket, Jeffers. Playing well, had a great first game, filling in early against Chicago. Flux shedding, pursuit, and zone coverage. Very nice. Auto upgrade the rest. We will sim into our bye week. And take care of some contract stuff and cap it off there. And we win 28 to 9 against the Cleveland Browns. Got some player upgrades as well. Kenny Pickett finally gets his. Put that into Fuel General. He's feeling like a 90 overall player. And he's been having a hot streak. Accuracies are up there. He has gone up to a superstar. Hey, buddy. I didn't see that. When did that happen? Uh, seriously, when did that happen? After week nine... His five touchdown performance? I think that was his five touchdown performance week nine. Goes up to superstar. I wish I got something for that. Ed has got the franchise quarterback tag. Would've been nice to like, see something about that. And we'll go improve catching to all tight ends because I don't really have a better idea of what to do, but that's awesome. Got a superstar franchise quarterback now. As Kenny Pickett continues to play exceptionally well in recent weeks. There we go. Get the auto upgrades in. And then we got to deal with some negotiations. Some expiring contracts. 22 of them to be exact. George Pickens, superstar. Four years, $64 million. Perfect. Pickens. Egg signs and extends TJ Watts. Wants four years, $106 million. Gonna be honest, I don't have many options. Deal maker, and we got it. TJ Watt extends. We're gonna have like 60 million again. Oh, I thought he signed. Never mind. Uh, Ward. If he just wants to come back on a one year, $14 million deal, I'll do that. Perfect. Harris doesn't really want to come back. Why doesn't he want to come back? Yeah, no income tax, scheme fit. He doesn't fit the scheme. Uh-huh. DJ Reader. I will, like, deal with a lot of these at the end as well. Michael Thomas been having a great year for us. A lot of these guys I'll deal with at the end because it depends. I'll accept the option on you. Because it depends on do I have the money after picking signs and a few other factors, regression, age, all of that. As we have the bye week, we'll do some self scouting. Get the awareness up, 500 XP. I really liked the old one where you could just like take the week off and get the stamina without really any drawbacks. I understand why that was a little. Overpowered, I guess. But hey, playoff picture. Seven and four after our bye week. 
we're sitting at the five seed. Ravens got a very good grasp on the one seed and the division sitting at, what's that? 10 and one. As Pickett after the bye week, almost leading the league in all passing categories, leading the league in touchdowns by what looks like a few after having the bye week and just a great stretch of games for Pickett, really showing us that he is a franchise quarterback. George Pickens will auto upgrade these guys. I want to sign Pickens. I thought he did, and I may have just read through the text box a little quickly. Pro yeah, honestly, yeah, pretty quickly. Why didn't he like that? Give him that little bump. Four years, 66. All right, four years, 66 million. Signs on the dotted line. And we still have 51 million in cap space. We'll see how that goes, Holcomb. 82 overall. Almost 30. Reader, 31. Might need to go after running backs. But hey. Solid episode. We got a franchise quarterback now. We have a superstar quarterback. And let's take a look at the stretch of games that Kenny Pickett had to really put himself on the map and establish himself as our franchise guy. Where already a high in touchdowns and it's been 11 games and he missed most of one. Great highest yards per attempt, highest yards per game, highest completion percentage. And in the stretch that really kicked this off, we, and our winning streak. Decent game against the Bears. Six touchdowns against the Bengals. Five against the Browns. Four against the Lions. Three against the Browns again. He has, what, 18 touchdowns, one interception in this four-game stretch. Ridiculous. Incredible yards per attempt. Kenny Pickett breakout is upon us. I still want Burke to be starting at right guard. Let's rejig the depth chart, get him back starting at right guard, and all will be fine and dandy. As Pickett continues his career year, and da 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 da. And that's going to cap off this episode. Looking to finish most of the regular season next time and then roll into the playoffs.